today we are going to learn about plant anatomy and plant physiology so first you should know what is anatomy and what is physiology what is anatomy it is the branch of biology that deals with the study of internal structure what is physiology it is the branch of biology that deals with the study of functions of an organism so here first you should recollect about the tissues that we learned in the 9th standard so what is tissue before that you should know how a tissues are formed what is a cell cell is the structural and functional unit of an organism again cells grouped together to form tissues tissues grouped together to form an organ organs grouped together to form an organ system then number of organ systems grouped together to form an organism this is how an organism is formed so in this chapter we are going to learn about the tissues okay so last year we learned about the tissues types what are the two types of tissues they are meristematic tissues and permanent tissue what is meristematic tissues tissues that are present in the growth tips and they are capable of cell division so what is meristematic tissues meristematic tissues are group of immature cells that are capable of undergoing cell division what is the second type of tissue it is the permanent tissue what is permanent tissue permanent tissues are those in which growth has stopped either completely or for the time being so in permanent tissues the growth has stopped completely or for a short period of time okay so two types of tissues that is meristematic tissue and permanent tissues again the permanent tissues are divided into two types they are simple tissues and complex tissues what are simple tissues simple tissues are homogeneous tissues composed of structurally and functionally similar cells example parenchyma colenchyma and sclerenchyma so what is simple tissues simple tissues are homogeneous tissue composed of structurally and functionally similar cells that means same type of cells grouped together to form tissues example parenchyma colenchyma and sclerenchyma second type of permanent tissue is the complex tissues that is complex tissues are made up of more than one type of cells that work together as a unit so what is a complex tissues complex tissues are made up of more than one type of cells that work together as a unit here complex tissues consist of parenchyma and sclerenchyma cells okay here the complex tissues you know it is made up of more than one type of cells so here they are made up of parenchyma and sclerenchyma cells colenchyma cells are not present in the complex tissues you should remember this point colenchyma cells are not present in the complex tissues again two types of complex tissues are there what are the two types of complex tissue xylem and phloem complex tissues two types what are they xylem and phloem so we learned tissues then two types of tissues what are they meristematic tissue and permanent tissue meristematic tissue again divided into simple tissue and complex tissue what are the simple tissues parenchyma colenchyma and sclerenchyma what are the complex tissues xylem and phloem